Satellites gone up to the skies. Hey guys, it's Asha and today's video is going to be my monthly favourites for the month of March and I'm wearing this hat again because <laughs> I really need to wash my hair and I can't be bothered to, so yeah. So before I get into my favourites, I wanted to ask you guys if you could please leave me a comment in the comments section down below asking me some sort of questions. So I really want to film another Q&A, so if you have any burning questions about my really exciting life <laughs> not really at all Just make sure that you pause the video right after this leave me a comment and that would be fabulous so I don't have a lot of favorites for this month but as per usual I'm gonna start off with beauty then go into fashion and then go into music and I think that those are the only three things I have this month the first beauty favorite I have is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. This is something that I've heard about for a really long time. Obviously it is very, very expensive, but I think that it is 100% worth it. This cost me $50 in Australia, which is pretty exy for a foundation, but you really don't need to use much at all. And I've honestly never used such a good foundation that gives me such an incredible finish and lasts on my face all day. I can wear this to bed and wake up the next morning, which I don't recommend doing, but I've done it before and it'll still look flawless. And you might notice that I have a pump on it. Um, it doesn't come with a pump, which kind of really annoyed me because it's such an expensive foundation, but I went through all my foundation bottles that I have in my makeup collection and I figured out that my CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous foundation. It led to this. This product is something that I've gone back to using and I repurchased it in the month of March and it... <coughs> I think I'm choking. <laughs> what I was saying was that I repurchased this and it is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This stuff is amazing and I really love that it comes in this little bottle that has a pump on it so you're not using like a doe foot applicator and putting bacteria back on your face and everything like that. You get so much product. This is especially really good for under the eyes because it stops it from creasing, but I also like to use it for blemishes as well. And much like the Estee Lauder foundation, this stuff will stay on your face all night long and cover up those little pimples that you don't want anyone to see. Funnily enough, my last beauty favorite is also a face product and it is the Bare Minerals Original Foundation. And this is in the color Fairly Light. So if you have similar to skin to me, then I would definitely recommend this. I have never really been a massive mineral foundation type of person, but I think I've been converted, guys. The thing I love about this is that I can wear it on my own. If I'm in a massive rush and I just need to go out and run some errands, but I want to put something on my face, I can just simply swirl this on a brush, put it on my face, put a little bit of mascara on, and I'm good to go. Or I can put this on top of my Estee Lauder foundation like I've done today and just get a really nice full coverage. Now, moving on to fashion favorites, my number one favorite for this this month has been this skirt. It is this khaki green color, as you can see. I put a photo on Instagram the other day wearing this. I will have it right here because I can't be bothered to go and try this on so you guys can see what it looks like on right there. And um, yeah, this is from ASOS. I think it was about $45, so kind of expensive, but I've gotten so much use out of it. I wear it with literally everything, and I don't know, it's just really flattering. My sister was like, Asha, I wore that skirt and I got so many compliments. Can I please buy it as well? And I was like, but, but it's mine. <laughs> The second and last favorite is band t-shirts. I literally throughout the month of May, 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 maybe I will be in May as well, but throughout the month of Throughout the, month. throughout the month of March have been obsessed with band t-shirts. So I've got a couple here. I don't know where my other ones are, but I have so many. Um, this is a Courtney Barnett one. Do, 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 do. I'm here, which is a vampire weekend one. And I also um, wear, I have like an Arctic Monkeys one. I have a Mac DeMarco one, Beatles, um, June Rats. I 
think that's it. But yeah, I love band t-shirts. I love just wearing them with a pair of shorts. I went to uni the other week and I wore my June Rats band t-shirt and I literally was in such a rush and I just threw it on with a pair of shorts and I got so many compliments from people being like, hey, I like your shirt. And I've never gotten that many compliments on like when I actually put effort into my outfit. So I think that band t-shirts are definitely underrated. Maybe if you guys would like to see a video on, on how to style them, then I could definitely do that because I don't know. I personally think that you can dress them up even though it kind of seems like you can't. Now moving on to random favorites, I've got a couple of music stuff and then a TV series so starting off with music I'm just looking at my iPod right here I have really been loving a few different bands first of all is a band by Ryan Gosling if you didn't know Ryan Gosling has a band if you couldn't be like as perfect as possible already he also has a band why so it's called Dead Man's Bones and yeah he has some really awesome stuff I'll play you one of the songs now That's him singing, right? So beautiful. Anyway, so I've really been liking that. I have also been listening to King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. I've really been liking them. And I've also been obsessed with Lou Reed. I don't know. Um, I just used to listen to his songs throughout my childhood. And recently I've just really been loving listening to him again. Bit of Nirvana, uh, Velociraptor. I saw them the other night actually, and I actually met a subscriber there. I can't remember her name, but she was really lovely. So if that is you, then thank you so much for coming up and saying hi. I also started watching Pretty Little Liars again and Pretty Little Lies is pretty much one of the only TV shows that I watch just because I have an attention span of an eight year old and I can never stay focused. I always just end up like sitting on my phone or something. But um, this month I had assignments due so naturally I was procrastinating by watching Pretty Little Liars and I went through about six episodes or so in one night and stayed up to like 3am and watched the season finale which was really good but I'm still really confused and I think that's everything everything that I've got to say. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure that you give it a huge thumbs up if you did. Once again, if you haven't already, leave me a comment in the comment section down below letting me know a question. If you have any questions, it can literally be about anything like uni, fashion, beauty, my personal life but not too personal um what else boys friends school ask me anything i would love to answer your questions and i will see you guys in my next video bye